Hi there, got another video, this time again something slightly different from the 2015-16 season. Uh, this time we'll show you some cards that uh, weren't available in packs, had to either be won um, either at the top swap and play events or through competitions through their website. Um, as you can see the first cards that we'll start here, we've got the uh, Master card. You can see with the Premier League trophy there. And all of the stats for speed, tackle, power, shoot, skill, pass, and the defence and attack scores are all 101. Um, so that makes it, in terms of strength, equal with the Hazard 100 club for this season. So if you were to use this in, in normal play, it would be a very powerful card. I'm not exactly sure whether you are actually allowed to use the Master Cards um, in normal play. It would be pretty obvious what you had um, for this card, because it doesn't say Master on the back as opposed to goalkeeper, defender, midfielder or something else on the back. Um, we managed to get two of those. We got one of those initially from the uh, Milton Keynes um, Tops um, event and then we got the second one I think was um, from one of the Swap and Play tours, I think it probably the Aston Villa, uh, Villa Park uh, day. Uh, the next card we've got is the uh, official signed Gary Cahill card and this was limited to uh, 100 of these were issued for the season and you can see now the hologram sticker uh, which has been signed um, it's the normal base card from the collection but obviously with the official um, signature there and this was available through a competition I think in conjunction the Sunday Mail and the and Tesco's, and you had to collect the voucher uh, from the newspaper, which was redeemable in Tesco's for a, a six sheet um, card or a card with six stickers on them, uh, six cards on them. And what you'd have to do is enter the code onto the Tops website, and you could win this card. Um, I think it was a random draw, either just by entering a code or a very simple competition uh, question. Um, actually uh, limited to 100 so a pretty rare card there um, the next card we've got um, again a limited number of these there was 20 of these James Milner cards you can see this one has got the uh, signed hologram sticker but it's also got the you can see in the top corner the hologram tops logo was there um, number on it which obviously registers this card and they obviously have a big database, I assume, uh, with all of the cards and the registered um, for which player and which card matches up. Again, it's the normal all-rounder card from the collection, but obviously the fact there's only 20 of these issued makes it a pretty rare and hard-to-get card. And the last one, um, as far as I'm aware, is the probably probably one of the rarest cards. Um, in the collection, you can see this is the John Stones card. Uh, there's actually only five of these issued, but again, it, he's actually hand signed the card there. And again, it's got the tops hologram logo in the top corner, and he's written the number five because I think that's part of his signature. He's written the five on the shorts again, so you can see the duplicate of that. But being one of five, and um, that's obviously an incredibly rare card for this collection. What we also managed to get um, from